My name is Nayeli Kobo. I'm the co-founder of People Not Bolsos, and I believe everyone has a right to breathe clean air despite their age, gender, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, or zip code. I believe clean air is a basic human right, and it is not okay that we have to fight for it. So right behind me is my old apartment building. It's my childhood home. Right across the street, as you can see, it's Alenco Energy, uh, an oil well in my community. Alenco operates with nine surrounding schools in the area. It's also next door to a daycare from newborns until two-year-olds. Between the ages of nine and ten, I developed asthma. That's something I'm always going to have to live with now. I had heart palpitations and I had to use a heart monitor for several weeks. I had nosebleeds so intense I couldn't sleep in my own bed. I would sleep in my own chair to prevent choking on my own blood at night. At the age of 19, on January 15th, 2020, I heard the words nobody ever wants to hear. Um, you have cancer and I remember that day vividly. I can tell you the weather, what I, the coffee I ordered at Starbucks that day, like everything to the T. And that's a day that so many other cancer survivors vividly remember and I was diagnosed in the pandemic so I did all of my cancer treatments alone. Yeah, it was very painful me see her, how her life was deteriorating. It was very difficult, but she, she had the inner strength to, to fight through it. We created a grassroots campaign called People Not Wells and started advocating for our right to breathe clean air. We started educating people about their urban oil extraction in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the largest urban oil field in the nation, but nobody seems to be talking about it. We started going door to door knocking after school, after work, four years of us advocating before we even got media attention. January 26, 2022, the Los Angeles City Council and the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to phase out oil and gas wells in the city and the county. It's empowering knowing that all of this started in a small community in South Los Angeles, Spanish-speaking, black and brown community. Honestly, a community that was viewed as less than as silent, as invisible, said enough is enough. This victory belongs to the whole community who everybody see us as invisible, voiceless. We're leaving a more just, sustainable world for future generations to come. That's my hope for the future. <laughs>